I mean, do you know there's fandoms that I'm scared of, and JLo's, JLo's is not, not one, one of, of them. <laughs> <laughs> truly, <laughs> truly, truly. <laughs> if I said something about Nicki Minaj, I would be like, I'm sorry, I have to hand in my resignation and run because these people are gonna come for me. The Hive, Beyonce, I, I would not even and dare. J Lo, nothing. Not. Yeah, J- I'm so, I'm, if you're a fan of J Lo, yeah. walk one. Yeah. You know, yeah. we can square up. We can square up. <laughs> but speaking of squaring up, actually, yeah. <laughs> Um, when we were just talking about you and your high school experiences, because we've been talking about the boarding school experience in Kenya, but you went to a day school, yeah, and I thought that would be a much simpler one. Mm-hmm. But why were you always squaring up with people? What nah, was happening? Yeah, man, I, I had I had, I had a very complicated uh, <laughs> uh, life at some points of that. I usually tell people, and I'm usually very open about this. Yeah. Um, and you know, we've made a lot of peace with it. My, we we grew up in I would say a well-to-do, right, and. And then we kind of lost it. And it's because of certain things that my dad did in terms of integrity and just standing up for what was right in a time where people did not like that stuff. And there was an economic effect to that. So we lost um, money and businesses and he had to sell land and all these type of things to take us to school. We were like we're seven kids, you know. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> And we went to really good schools. So right now around um, the time maybe class eight going into high school, Stuff became a little bit com- complicated. You started losing friends because, you know, you're not dressing the same or stuff like that. And I didn't know those things could affect me. So now w- I went to a high school that, I'll be honest, I didn't want to go to um, from the moment that I got there. And from the moment that I checked in, I started having beef with people because they were like, what is it called? Okay, you know, they started treating me like that. Ah, me, me, ni nani na yangu. Of course, now, Vita, things like those. And by the time I was in second form, I actually was just about to be expelled because I was involved in so many fights mm-hmm. in school and also starting fights with other schools. And the funny thing that really s- helped me was the principal because the principal brought me into our office after I fought a, a boxer. <laughs> You fought a boxer. like This guy is a student, but he was actually a boxer. That's already a problem. Cause <laughs> like why do you have a career in high school and one that's that tough? It's not that I work part-time I know. with my mom helping her do the accountant. I know. It's, I'm a boxer. This guy, he actually, he actually used to box. Yeah. Um, and he, he wasn't even Kenyan. He was, um, I think, half Kenyan, half Tanzanian. Mm-hmm. And so we were taken to the principal's office. And she called me aside and she was like, David, you know, I've met your dad. I've even spoken to your former teachers. You know, don't let this be how your story goes and all the kind of things. And she realized that I'm not just acting out. There's stuff that I've not dealt with. And she was like, but I was just about to expel you. But I think that you can get over what it is that you're going through. And we're going to help you get over what it is that you're going through. If you have any problems, please come and talk to me. Instead of fighting or retaliating, come and talk to me. My door is always open. And I was like, only principal and I don't believe Like, this is somebody who they are seeing you like as a person as a person yeah i was like what the heck i think that's she's a gem and a rare one at that because that is exactly what is missing from a lot of the headlines that we see um about like boarding schools and uh, the school system in kenya in general yeah she saw you for you and actually questioned why you are the way you are yeah. because none of us do things because yeah ju- just because True. right a lot of the times there's underlying issues and when when you hear um principals especially deputy principals teachers sometimes talk about their students they don't really see them as people that's true more like problems to be solved and yeah. behavior is often not seen as something that's a symptom of something showing mm-hmm. it's more like this is an issue that just needs to be stamped out yeah so that's why we've never been able to deal with school fires and school strikes because we never ask the why that's true. it's always like can we beat them into submission yeah can we expel them into submission can we make it so expensive for their parents that their parents make them mm. submit as opposed mm. to questioning um same thing with like the illnesses you don't see a child as a human being enough to be when they complain about an illness yeah. you're like you're faking it because yeah. you want to get out of class because True. you want to sleep to the extent that you can lose students that's a callousness that should mm-hmm. not be seen when you're dealing with such young people yeah. right and then you still expect these people to be healthy and happy and flourishing come yeah, on now I know. let's let's not do jokes it's crazy people have different high school experiences want to find out what is yours is a poll by the way on nation fmke what was your last high school experience was it an academic fire military of vitabu was it the prom like somebody's asking what the heck is a prom <laughs> and or was it militoka to minajo to litoka to but if you're one of those that uh, militoka to i hope your university experience or your experience past high school was upgraded uh and talking about upgrading we're going to be jumping into the music machine right now which one are you feeling 
think so far? I, I'm, the I'm, Lil Wayne remix? Nah, fam. I'm with Beyonce and Jay-Z on this one. I am 100% with Beyonce <laughs> and Jay-Z as well. Listen, Lil Wayne had an era where he, everything he touched was gold. Yeah. But this one, everything he touched, it's was, giving was silver. Wood. It's <laughs> 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 